Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So the first three episodes, as you can tell, we've been having a lot of problems with uh, taking damage and the way our mech loadouts are, and particularly our funds. Um, so I kind of was thinking about it all last night. I'm, I'm actually sick today, so I'm off work. But um, I was actually thinking about how we might go about refitting our lance based on the limited gear we have. Um, how we can maximize our contract to C-bill ratio. Uh, right now, where we are. Um, so, I'm thinking that this version of Rogue Tech definitely, definitely, definitely um, has economy management um, for sure. Not necessarily at its core, but it is extremely important. Um, in, the old, in the old versions, I mean, for me anyway, I don't generally sell mech parts, so keeping my economy afloat was was always difficult, especially earlier on. Um, but now it's even more difficult. Um, the repair costs on the mechs, especially if you want to, for instance, putting XL engines or, or light engines in mechs, cost a tremendous amount of money, um, things like that. So uh, I know we're not at that point yet, but we're at a point right now where we don't have a second mech base, so our our uh, mech repair times are really starting to back up, uh, and that's a huge issue. Now, I'm thinking being out here um, in yarn folk space is not a good idea. We really only got two pl planets right now we can bounce back and forth between that have a seven day, 17 day travel time, which is really horrible. One of them is a black market world, and the second one's not. Uh, this is a one skull planet. So it's more difficult to get missions. Now I'm thinking the best place to go is the Draconis Combine. Um, and the idea would be to get somewhere in the interior here where there's a lot of half-skull planets, um, which is really the best thing I think to do. So there's a few worlds here that are a fair distance away. There's Charity. Um, now this is a desert world. Um, make it a little hard, more difficult to fight on, but it's a 42 day travel time. It's definitely doable within within, within um, one uh, financial report. Um, we are going to need to, unfortunately, we are going to need to sell some mech parts. So uh, I'm only going to sell all the light mech parts. I'm going to keep the two, me the two medium mech uh, parts that we have, the Centurion and the Axeman. But I'll sell all the, all the light parts to get to where we need to go and survive our financial report. Um, and then there's um, Ningxia here. It's another half skull world. Uh, arid world. There's another world here somewhere. That's uh, three and a half. Where is it? Uh, Nara, 44 days away. So these guys are all within travel time. I'm thinking here, um, this one probably is the best one to go to. Nara is a rocky world, um, but it doesn't have a lot in the way of other stuff other than pirate presence. Um, here we've got um, former Star League presence. Uh, aquaculture, agriculture, it's an arid world, but large population, things like that, right? So um, this might be a better way to go. There's also a ghost bear, bear planet really close by, not that we'd uh, want to be going there, but I'm sure there's, uh, I'm going to spend some time clicking around here, seeing if I can find one that's within 44 days away. Our financial, second financial report would happen in 45. Uh, we're 15 days away from our first one right now. Um, but I'm also trying to look for a planet that's relatively temperate, so when we do do combat, we're not running into heat issues. Um, so I'm looking around in here. There's a bunch, like, because these are all half-skull planets in here, it's probably a good place to go, because then we can bounce back and forth between them. Um, at least for the first little while, until we get what we really need. So that's too far. See, Charity's 42 days. There's another planet. Oh, we already clicked on that one, but there's a few here. Maniwa. Um, actually, that's probably a better world to go to. That's a water planet. Um, chances are we'll have a better time going there. So that's 41 days away. So we need to make our financial report, which we can do because we just have enough for our financial report. Um, but if we look here again, we need 225,000 to be able to get there. So um, I'm going to go into our mech base here. By the time we get there, though, 43 days away, all our mechs will be back with the exception of the urban mech. Um, I've made a few decisions, I think, on what we're going to do with these mechs. The Wolfhound doesn't have an arm. We're going to leave it that way for now. 
the urban mech i think once it gets repaired let's manage our tasks a little bit better here i want the urban mech back before the blackjack the blackjack's not going to change in any way so it's fine coming back a little later uh, actually it's not because we want to be in combat when we get there so we're going to do this let's bring the wolfhound down because we're the wolfhound we're not going to get up and running yet because um, we're missing an arm i believe so i think what we're going to do is i want to get the centurion outfitted with the ultra ultra 10 and i think i want to pull the electronics from the urban mech and everything um i'm thinking because the hell spawn is our fastest mech this guy should swap out all its long range weapons for closer range stuff and i think the centurion should be the long range platform now it's got two light machine guns in the right torso it's got another ballistic point for the arm, but we can fit the two LRMs from the uh, health spawn. We can put it in the in the uh, um, shoulder here, and then we can fit the auto cannon in here if we want, or we can put a light machine gun in here if we want. But it should be a longer range mech, I think. It's also slower too, which means it's got more space, like more weight to be able to deal to add stuff. Um, the vindicator. Um, I want to downgrade the PPC. It's generating a lot of heat for 55 damage if we can put a large laser in here instead and add a little bit more like maybe pull out the LRM5 and add some more medium laser or something maybe make it a little um, a little uh, give it a better chance to hit with with um, with better weapons we might do that I mean we don't have a lot of gear to work with right our components blackjack will remain the same and then the wolfhound and the urban mech we can probably just pull parts off these guys for now now the urban mech's got a lot of advanced electronics um, which we might either drop into the Vindicator or, if depending, into the uh, Hellspawn. If we use the Hellspawn as our punchy frontline mech. Now, it does a 66-point damage melee punch. So I'm thinking this guy should be right up at the front line. Um, but that's going to take a little tweaking, I think. And I don't know if, we can, if we're going to have the currency right away to do that. But I think if we can get into a half skull planet, we'll be able to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell all the light mech parts. I really hate, really hate doing this, but there's, we have no other choice at this point. So we're going to scrap that. The commando can go. I mean, it's not like we'd be building any of these mechs anyway, but um, we just want to make sure that we're going to have capital to be able to uh, go where we're going. We'll have a little bit less left over when we get there, which means we're going to need to pull off a mission, I think, um, to make our financial statement. And if worst case scenario... If we need to sell these guys, we can do that. Um, but I'm, I'm really hoping that that's not the case. Okay, so let's make that jump. Um, let's go to the star map. Yeah, I know this is really risky, uh, but I don't think at this point... This is going to put us in a better position for the future. At this point, I don't really think we have another option. Staying out here really isn't an option. Um, for the simple fact is that we're not going to be getting the missions we want. Two of the half skull missions that we got here were to travel to the Indosphere anyway. So let's get in here. I'll see you guys when we get there. Calculating course now, Commander. All right, guys, welcome to Maniwa. Uh, we are now in the middle of the Draconis Combine. Um, and I think we're in a better position here. There's a lot of half skull planets around here we can uh, jump to. This one's only nine days away. We can kind of bounce back and forth between these two planets um, or these two systems um, you know so if we take damage here that's going to be fixed relatively quickly we can jump over and get some new contracts um, so there's a f there's like where are we here there's a few planets around here that are half skull like there's another half skull 16 days away 17 days away um, so we've got a bunch we can go to here another one 11 days away uh, so we're in a pretty good position in this position here in in the inner sphere. So let's have a look at our contracts when we got here. We got a mopping up comp contract for Ghost Bear, uh, stubborn surrender contract. I think, with the exception of the fact that these are Ghost Bear guys, which we probably shouldn't uh, um, take on at the moment. Um, we have a few missions here that we could probably um, pull off. Um, this is a recovery mission, um, which I think we could probably do. We're not going to do the repost mission. Um, and we've got a capture base here at One Skull, which I think is most likely easy enough to do. Um, 
pieces against pirates. But I think mopping up is probably the one we should start off with. Uh, we are going to need some money for the end of the month. We're right on the very edge, so I'm hoping um, that we get some salvage that we can sell off and not take too much damage. I don't know, we're pretty close. Like I said, we may have to sell mech parts, but I think we're in a better position to be able to survive this out. Um, let's have a look, first of all, at the store. I don't think we can have any. I don't think we really have. Oh, actually, you know what? We do have something we could sell. There's a few things here that I'd like to buy, but um, like perhaps putting a large pulse in the, uh, um, the Vindicator will be better than the PPC. It's still 40 heat for seven tons but it spreads the damage over three, so maybe we get a better chance to hit, I don't know. Um, so selling, we can probably sell this energy fuel cell. As much as I want to hang on to this, um, at the moment we're not going to really have use for it in any way, and I want to make sure we're going to make our financial report for this month. So um, we're going to just going to sell it. We can always uh, pick one up later on. We definitely want to keep these guys, though and the rest of the stuff we want to hang on to for now. The periphery rifle, I could probably let go, but for this cost, we might as well just hang on to it. All right, so going into the combat here, we only need to make a little bit of funds to be able to make our financial report. Hopefully we can minimize our damage. So um, let's do our contract. And we'll take the mopping up and negotiate this sucker out. I think we're gonna go 50-50. Salvage is lousy but we need to kind of to cover our drop cost and some repairs. So I'm thinking this is probably the best way to go. Should be able to eco out enough to be able to survive. So let's accept this. Next month, hopefully will be a better month. Uh, why is, oh right, sorry, gonna bring Mushroom in. Now I should have put her in last time because she had higher piloting, um, but the experience that we got by including these guys in the mission has allowed me to bring up these to all threes now. So tactics and piloting are going to give us a bit better initiative. Um, so yeah, our pilots are becoming slightly more balanced now, which is good. So let's deploy this and get it done. Yeah, we know the urban mech's missing a heat sink, but that's fine for now. All right, here we go. At half skull, I don't expect reinforcements, and if I do, they'll probably all be vehicles. Um, if they do, they're going to be coming from up here. A couple of ways you can run this mission depends on how long you want to play it. At half skull, uh, I'm not really that worried, but you can hit up the hill up here and use it as a way to target down and get a bonus to hit. Second way you can do it is if you're worried about there being another set of units up here, um, you can go up, stay back this way, and engage them and force these guys to come up this way, engage them all in here, and destroy them one at a time. Hopefully that can work too. Uh, the other way you can do it is you can use the edge of this building here and these individual rock pieces to shield yourself from up here. But like I said, you need to move to get evasion, so really there isn't a lot of places you can move to to, to stop them from shooting at you. Um, in this case, I think we're going to go straight in. I don't think there's going to be any more than one lance here. Uh, I have been wrong in the past, but... Um, we've got a nice little tree line up here we can move into. So our sensors really aren't that great right now. So because Baba Yaga can move so far, like I said, I think I want to make this mech the sort of melee um, close-in fighter. So I think the ER mediums are going to come off, put regular medium lasers or pulse lasers if we can get some pulse lasers. Uh, it's been suggested that I should perhaps be using pulse lasers more often, uh, and I would agree in this particular uh, mod pack. Um, the amount of misses that we've been getting, it's the pulse lasers having the extra number of um, shots, gives you more chance to at least to inflict some damage every turn. We, right now we've only got one pulse laser, so not much we can really do about it. Alright, so I don't want to engage but I do want to kind of censor these guys out. So we're going to move over here. So I've kind of blocked myself from other people being able to hit me. 30 ton mech, let's drop some missiles on them. All right, so our pilots are a little bit faster than theirs. That's fine. Um, oh, we can get a shot on this guy from here. I'm going to move into the open, as crazy as this sounds. Uh, he hasn't moved, so this is going to give me my best chance to hit, and I want to have it even better, so... Yeah, well, 
Gotta take the chance. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. So let's alarm ten. Yes, Commander. Um yeah, let's get into here. And we're taking the chance on this, don't really care. Not like we're gonna run out of ammo in anyway. Okay, twenty-five ton mech. Waiting for orders. Let's get the slow poke into battle here if we can at some point. This is really just another target right now. Cattlemaster, Javelin, and a Hunchback. Okay, so this is the LRM-5 Hunchback, I think. Because we got hit by 10 missiles, so... Um, javelin... Depending on the layout of this Javelin, it could be a problem. If it's the SRM version, um, really realizing how devastatingly powerful SRM versions can be. Um... I'm thinking I want to get some SRMs for um, the hell spawn here. So this guy hasn't moved. We got great chances to hit. We're gonna fire everything. Okay, some nice hits there. That's okay. We needed to take the chance. I was hoping to blow this arm off, but it never happened. So maybe we're only facing three here. There is that possibility. Yeah, it's the SRM version. So we need to be careful of that. Okay, he's making himself unstable. Crapple Master. Oh, it's the 25 version. Which I have no idea whether that's any different than any other Crapple Master. Usually they have machine guns, I think, but this is the flamer and something on his arm. I can't remember what it is. Uh, Alright, well... Definitely want to be in the trees. Moving to position. 13. 2340. I'm going to take the shot on this guy. Right now he's the threat. He's got a pair of SRM-6s. Nice hit. It's weird the pulse lasers all missed, but glad the PPC hit. Okay, his initiative is dropped to nothing. Let's hopefully finish this guy up. I think we're, we are only facing three mechs here, which is a really good thing. Dumping everything into him. Accuracy through volume of fire. We only hit once. Wow. Okay, sweepers, let's sweep this up. 23% on the other guy here. 28% with the AC. What about if we're out here? 40 and 40. 47 and 23. Um, I'm going to maximize my chance to hit and go after this guy. Um, this guy's almost cored. He's lost one of his weapons. He's going late in the next turn. Oh, 54% chance to hit. Even better. Alright, firing. All are go. Ah, really? Ah, well. That's why we need the Ultra 10 in here. So if the AC-20 can shoot that far, uh, the Ultra 10 is going to be shooting even farther. And I definitely want that on the Centurion more than anything else. Just because it's going to be a lot more armor. Uh, let's stay out of the rough terrain. See, now here's the thing. This is one of the reasons why I go through rough terrain and people, uh, I, there's been a... I think it's Ace Tracker who's mentioned that um, going through. I go through rough terrain a lot, but the diff the problem is here is this: is that if I move here, right, where I'm out of rough terrain, I'm only getting one chevron of evasion, right? So they're better. They have a better chance to hit me. But if I move move over here and shoot, even though I've gone through rough terrain, I'm getting more evasion, right? So it's harder for them to hit me. So yes, I'll take more stability damage for sure. But because it's harder for them to hit me, I'll probably take less stability damage overall. So it's really, you know, it's six of one, half a dozen of a, half dozen of another. Now, most of the time I go over rough terrain, it's because I'm not even watching what I'm doing. And I will admit that I'm not the, uh, 
I've, I've got attention deficit disorder if you haven't noticed so um, that's probably the reason why I'm going over rough terrain most of the time is I don't even see it right so let's dump everything into this guy um, but like I said it's okay good maximizing salvage excellent um, it's 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 what you're willing to trade off. Are you willing to trade off, um, you know, a, a less stability damage or more evasion? And I'm kind of, kind of the mindset of going for more evasion. I can't wait till we get multiple uh, or um, multi-target on this guy. If anybody, the blackjack definitely needs it. Okay, we have enough to fire everything, so we're going to do that... Yes. Even with a 13% chance. So this guy's got some melee stuff. That's the one thing we are lacking is a good melee mech. Um, be nice if we can pick one up. 34. So we're not out in the range of the medium pulse. That's the other thing about medium pulses is the range too. Although this is better here. Um, the range, you got to be in close to be able to use them. All right, not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Okay, he's hurt. The closer that hunchback gets, the more deadly he's going to be. I hear ya. I know it's the. Um, it's the. Uh, yeah, it's the. Um, See, once again, ADD. 23. Yeah. Um, it's the Rocket Launcher 5 versions, or the uh, LRM 5 versions. But um, still, it's got a ton of medium lasers on it as well. So we got to be wary of that. Firing on this guy. Oh, yeah, man. God damn it. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Uh, we gotta knock this crapple master out. So let's move back here. Stay nice and cool, hopefully. Yep, and we'll drop everything into the side of this guy. Okay, we got to get out of the position where that guy can oh, shoot are. us. Do we want to engage that hunchback? We probably want to force him to switch targets, so let's make him do that. On my way. I know we're moving into Crapple Master melee range, but we got to force this guy to switch targets. Um, LRM can... Yeah, man, really? What if we... See what I mean? If we put a large laser on this guy, it's going to mitigate the heat way better. Let's fire on this guy. Three pulse laser hits, awesome. Waiting on you, Commander. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight, thirty-four. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're moving in closer. I don't really want to do this, but... We got to. 34% chance. Let's hopefully hope we hit this guy. Nope. Nope. No, he probably won't. Won't be a next time. Uh, we don't have enough for Vigilance. Taking a lot of damage here. Can't afford that. So we're going to pull back here. This turn and brace. Let's bring that hunchback in closer if we can. Hopefully. See what happens here. He's going to back up, eh? Alright, he's got a lot. Oh, he's got rocket launchers. I don't know what he's got. Fire damage, Commander. Nothing to see 
Oh, I think he shut down. Can we get a better side shot here anywhere? I don't think so. Can I move over here? Uh, I'm leaving the alarm off. Fire the rest. Okay, so there goes the retractable blade. That's really the only thing about that cattle master I was worried about. I'm on fire! Commander? Uh, can you do this, please? Affirmative. Pick that guy up on sensors. Is he shut down? Can't tell. Well, no, actually, if we target him. Yes, he is. Okay. So, um,. Do we core this guy? Before he does more damage to us? Probably. Um, really? Affirmative. You want to hit me with stuff? I'm going to hit you with stuff. CT, fire everything. Copy that. Didn't pan though. It's getting there. Waiting for orders. Okay, we're, we're going to barely even move Order Sweeper. CT hit. Let's hope we hit with the AC-20. Wow, we got a leg hit anyway. Why his move was improved to confident? Shouldn't be that confident. Can we get in the water? We can. Nice. Don't care if it's only ankle deep. Uh, wow, we can't really use a whole lot, can we? I know it's going to be cluster firing, but uh, I don't know. Do I go for? I think we should go for pinpoint. I don't want to shut down though. I know we won't shut down on our first turn. These are only going to do what well, they do for each. Um, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, 98% chance of that PPC, guys. Um, 94. We stay in the opener and we don't kill him and he powers up. Well, no guts, no glory, I guess, eh? I'm almost tempted to go the other way, but... Okay, we got the leg. Nice. Pilot injury, he'll be knocked back a turn. Not a turn, but... Back enough that we can hopefully finish this guy up. Let's move in. We're not going to overheat, but we'll fire enough at him to kill him. That should do it. Yep. Crapple Master left. We should get enough salvage off the uh, javelin, I think. Good to go. Okay, so this was the perfect mission for us at the perfect time. Whoa, you almost hit me, dude. <laughs> if I wasn't in the water, that would have gone right through me. Another hit like that and you're toast. All right, let's cool off. Bang, you're dead. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Alright, so with a little finagling, we were able to pull that off. 109,000. 
obviously not going to make a financial report with that. Uh, we got 22 days for this. Uh, all right, so the core we can sell. Oh, we only get one thing, right? Core. Anything else that's like amazing here? So that was, he had two LRM10s, that guy, the hunchback. Let's hope we get some mech parts. Um, but we definitely need the cash, so we'll go with the core. All right, Cattle Master, two javelin parts and a medium laser. All stuff that we can use here because we can sell these three right now. All right, so, oh, Steiner's beating back Wolf. That's good. 13,000 repairs, which is good news for us. Only 14 days. We're slowly on our way to getting back into position where we can, uh, and we do actually have enough for the next financial report. That's awesome. Okay, so we're not going to sell those mech parts. Um, we getting slowly getting ourselves into a position where um let's get the yeah it doesn't really matter which way we go uh blackjack can be the last sorry i'm just thinking out loud here we want the urban mech done first all right so we're getting ourselves into a position where we're our funds will be okay for the next little bit we do have two pilots out for quite a long time um we want to be back in action before that so do we have a pilot that we can hire here that's relatively cheap? We do not, because of course we don't. We could run with three mechs. It's risky. So on the way here we got hit by pirates, which put payroll out of action. Well, I mean, we'll be back by the end of the month. It'll be another thin month, probably. But maybe enough to affect some... Yeah. We can affect some slight changes on our mechs, I think. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, so let's make sure here. Let's go back to the store. I'm going to sell that engine off. Um, it's not much, 156000 but every little bit counts. We're going to sell that. And let's see here, for the sake of argument, what, what it's going to take to get the Centurion up and running. Now, we don't have all the parts that we need to actually get this guy into a position where he's going to be ready to go. Um, but let's see if we put the Ultra 10 in. That's only 26. We need to buy ammo. We need at least, well, we need at least two tons for sure. They don't have a, they don't have AC-10 ammo here, so that's uh, can't do that at all. All right, well, we can though. Well, the Irby function just fine, so we'll leave them as is. Um, Vindicator. Talking about making adjustments to this guy. So we do have a large laser we can throw in. So let's see what we are heating heat is at right now. 45 heat sinking. So pull out the PPC, large laser can go in. So we take out the LRM5. And we got a medium pulse already. Maybe we just include like the armor is pretty much already maxed. So I mean Without, without actually getting being able to buy heat sinks, I don't think we can buy heat sinks, can we? We've had a, had a hard time finding them. We can at 114,000 a pop. <laughs> they were 23,000 before. Now they're 114,000. Oh my God. Okay. So we're not changing this guy around anytime soon. I mean, I guess we could just. Let's just redo this real quick. What? Exit and discard all unsafe changes. Confirm. I guess we can just 
I pull up the PPC. PPC was what heat? 40. Large is 30, right? Yeah. Gives us two tons. Still, though. I mean, if that was two tons of armor we could put on, it'd be worth it, but... I guess we leave it for now. Um, yeah, there's not much we can really do. I mean, we can manage the heat on this guy a little better by putting in regular media blazers. Do we have any more missile points? We don't, really. See, even this build, it's a tough choice. Lots of armor on them, though. Um, is there anything we can do to this guy? We don't have ammo for the AC-10, so it's not like we could even swap this out. I mean, if we want to make this guy... The AC-20 is a nice, punchy weapon. But we could just humor me for a second here. Pull this out. Maybe we go with the periphery rifle. Put a large laser in the arm. We can remove the endo steel. Give it to somebody else. Max the armor out. Still got lots of tonnage left over, right? There's no more hard points. Yeah, if we pull the light machine guns off of, I'm just thinking for because that AC-20 is not hitting at all, right? So if we pull off, we could pull off the light machine gun and the ammo off of this guy for now. Actually, let's pull all the weapons off the Centurion for now. Leave the engine for now. Um, and let's confirm this. And, and let's have a look at the Irby here. It's all going to depend on how long it takes to change this around, right? Um, so if we put a large laser in. Uh, we go with the periphery rifle, which has got built-in ammo, right? And then three light machine guns and ammo in the leg. We max out the armor. I mean, it doesn't have the heat sinking to be able to handle all this. These guys are pretty... But if we rotate out, like the large laser, what's the heat sinking right now? It's garbage, right? Yeah, but the large laser is 30. So if we rotate out the large laser, what's the range of the periphery rifle? 400 meters, this isn't too bad. The light machine gun's going for head hits, full armor. I know it's slow. We don't have a heat sink. We have a double heat sink kit. How long does it take to put that in? Not very long, it doesn't cost very much money, but we don't have any double heat sinks, right? We need double heat sinks for that. Um, We got two targeting computers as well. That's, this is still like 22 days though, right? It would be severely underweight. But I think we'd get more bang for the buck than we're getting right now with that just single AC-20 and medium laser. The more firepower chance to hit, right? Let's discard the changes for now. 22 days and 22,000. The cost is negligible. Um, Blackjack's back in 12. It's really the armor upgrade that's going to take the most amount of time, right? So maybe we hold off. Actually, let's see if we can just... I know we'll be underweight. Uh, 
um, just for the sake of argument. It's 11 days before we upgrade the armor. It's double with the armor. We don't have time to do that now. Much as I'd like to. We need to get some capital flowing. Um, we can't wait for the next financial report, I don't think. Well, you know what, though? Our pilots are, like, out of action until the end of the month anyway. If we can get enough money for the financial report, I think we'll do that. Let's do that. Um, once again, I have to go back to selling Mac parts, but at this point, we're at kind of dire straits. We have no choice, so we'll get a little bit for these. Not a lot, but... Very close to making that financial report. Um, what can we sell here? Oops, selling. Uh, I don't think we have anything. Short of like the Ultra 10, which we're not going to sell. So we can't make that next financial report. We do have to go after another mission before that. So we'll just have to deal with what we have. Um, we're going we're gonna to be three mechs. No, four. We'll wait till the close to the end of the month. As soon as Mushroom's back. That you submitted is complete. Okay, uh, one quick thing here. So, the Wolfhound... Um, so we didn't lose a large laser on the arm in this guy. Huh. We need to crank up the armor on him, though. Let's leave him for now. We're going to pull out the large, probably, and just fill this with mediums and medium pulses, most likely. Uh, so let's leave him for now. All right, three days. Okay, so let's take that other mission here. Should be able to make the financial report. Stubborn Surrender. Uh, it is Ghost Bear, we're not gonna take that one because that'll just get us killed. Clan Scouts, Flashpoint. Uh, as much as I'd love to uh, take this one, uh, I don't feel like dying. So, yeah. Lost there. Was that the one we were looking at? Recovery? No, it's Ghost Bear. Too close to the clans here, I think. Contested Will. Capture the base. Let's do that one. It's against pirates. Um, this way. Two of ten. Okay, same Lance. Um, Sweeper's got uh, low morale, but we'll have to deal with that. Actually, before we do that, check the pilots. Because you never know. Um, I'm going to go this way with a minus 45 minimum range because of the LRM-10s. We're going to need more tactics again anyway, but I think this is going to help us out in the long, well, in the short run, for sure. Uh, mushrooms fine, Wait sweepers fine, yeah. twilight, um, piloting maybe, increasing the unsteady threshold, or do we wait for gun, no, I'm going to go this way, it's really just for initiative and increasing the unsteady threshold, so let's confirm that, okay, let's do this. Alright, contested will, capture the base, what's the full salvage? That's still enough. Let's go that route. 313. We should be able to now get... Even if we take damage, we should get enough money. Yeah, I know. We should get enough sea bills. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, capture the base, eh? Yeah, we saw a vehicle down here. I think I want to use this forest. I know it puts us in a, in a narrow ravine here, but I think I want to use the forest for protection. Aye, aye. Here we go. Any eyes on yet? Nope. So this health spawn is going to go through a major overhaul, I think. Definitely going to pull out the ER mediums, put in regular mediums. It does great melee damage. Um, the LRM-10s are going to come out. Hopefully I can get some SRMs in there. What can I do for you? The urban mech too, I mean it's still not bad. The, the ballistic points on the shoulder make it a great platform for uh, light machine guns. Cicada. I have no idea. Ignis. Ignis might be a bit of an issue, but... How brave am I? Uh, not that brave. Huh, it's all indirect over here, eh? I guess there's a bit of a hill? Yeah, it looks that way. Okay, so the idea of this is getting myself into a position where I can melee from the flank. And we got another target, okay. Cicada, dumping stuff onto him. Here we go. Orders. Do we have direct line of sight on that? Uh, we don't. All right, well, I know it's not much uh, evasion, but God damn it, we needed to get started on this. We need eyes on, we should be getting that in the next turn or so. Jenner, okay, not so bad. Oh, it's the Thunderbolt Jenner. Having a pair of those in Centurion would be nice. Um, Thirty-four. We're gonna take this one. Uh, we want to try and remove the side of the, the cicada. Cicadas usually have PPCs in them, so damn it. Axel, sixty-five tonner. So let's hope we can get eyes on. Then I can squash them. And sweeper's going on turn seven. Oh, it's the periphery rifle version. Okay. These guys are pirates, so. Did he just move in the open? I hear ya. Better line of sight from over here. Max speed, no shooting. Ah, crappy chance, but we're taking it regardless. See, it's going to make a huge difference when those light machine guns are in there. Commander. They'll never expect this. 
I want to be able to squash this guy. That's why I'm doing this. Should be squashable, I think. Um, yeah. It's fire in the Jenner. Looks like it's got two lasers as well, really. Okay, baby Jaeger. Let's get him from behind. Because that's what we do. Nicely done. Problem one solved. Enemy unit destroyed. Got eyes on these guys now. Should be able to apply some heavy damage. This blackjack is going to rip this guy. It's a new one. Hopefully. Ah, uh, he's ace pilot. Okay. Still though, we got visuals. Here comes the flamer. Ugh. Goddamn pirates. Receiving you. Pirates and their flamers, man. Um, don't want them all to see me. Let's just get into here. Roger that. Full speed. Now, I've learned from past experience that uh, leaving flamer units live on the battlefield is probably not a good idea. So, let's try and kill this Ignis. Come on, hit. Damn it. Well, at least we killed the guys up over here. You just shelling the infantry positions up there. I know you guys didn't see them, but they are there. Um, just because I can. I need eyes on that Ignis, please. Um, perhaps from here. That's a little better positioning, I think. That's a lot of armor. Except from the back. Which is not facing me. Right? Right? Yeah, near the back's the other side, okay. Just had to make sure what I was looking at there. Uh, AC2s can come off. Um, definitely needs to be this guy firing. Oh, you're coming back, are you? We got a nice chunky AC-20 for you, dude, but, dude. Robots! I can still do more damage than you, but I'm not fighting you next turn anyway. Good to go. Uh -huh. 40%, 34. Obvious choice. Let's see if we can take this guy out of the match. Got it. Yeah, man. Nice hit. See if we can deal a death blow to this guy. Uh, see what I mean? This PPC just gotta go. Just has to go. Firing at enemy. There we go. Pulse laser got him. Alright, maybe we get lucky. Let's do it. Certainly going to be better than shooting at him. Engaging physical attack. Oh, crap. No damage detected. Standing by. 
Melee attacks like 23, but do like 40 something damage. Let's do this. See why here in a second. All right. Wow. All right, well, let's hope we get some hits. Okay, there goes the torso. I think I hit something good. Should have only one rifle left now, I think. Okay, buddy, I'm not generating any heat, so. Commander. Don't have the ability to step on that guy, huh? No, I think we want to target uh, Chikeda. Go into full throttle. And at close range with the pulse lasers, of course. And firing. Pew. I hear ya. Forty percent, eh? Well, better than poking an eye with a sharp stick. Let's take it. This be good. Okay, nice. Did you get the leg? Nope. Pretty close though. Yeah, he knows the threat when he sees it. Thank goodness for fast speed, I will say that. Alright, you guys gotta make sure you help me out here. Engaging physical attack. Oh, for Christ's sake! I smell a cheat. Location confirmed. Taking the shot. Wow, all those chances to hit. Scored a critical hit. And like, really? Stop shooting me. I know I'm on fire, thank you. Awaiting orders. That. Much as I'd love to just shoot him with a PPC. Well, use these both. All right, let's do it. Target confirmed. There we go. One less target. Okay. Waiting for orders. I was about to say things are starting to look up, but I know better than to say okay. stuff like that. It'll just get him getting me killed. Okay, where do we hit this guy? And of course he goes before us. Well, at least he's spreading the damage around. Warning. Armor low. He went to a position where I can't hit that. Well, I can hit the side from here, I think, if I get lucky. Oh, shut up, Darius. There we go. You made me miss the explosion. Now I know why there's that shut up, Darius mod. Now I don't think there's going to be anything else. I think we're pretty good here, but we're going to move everybody up just in case. Uh, can I get... That is inside. Okay, cool. This could be the end of this mission. So that's a one-sculler. 
It wasn't too bad. Commander. Did take another pilot hit though. Getting more head hits in this in these missions than I have in the past, so. Oh shit, really? Yes, <sighs> Going full throttle. Well, at least we got our heat back. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we get two guys to spawn over here and two guys down over here. Waiting on you, Commander. Need a bigger engine for this Irby. I think once we swap out the weapons. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. So glad he's on our side. Flee. Enforcer. Really? 50 ton vehicle. 60 ton vehicle. That enforcer has to die really fast. And since I got the most armor. Rocket launcher time, firing everything. I like them apples. Enemy Critical damage detected. Waiting for order. Flamer fuel depleted. Okay, the AC is on this side, so let's go after that. Firing everything. Target confirmed. Oh god. Need better chance to hit than that. Yes, Commander. As long as the vehicles aren't LRM vehicles. I think we need to be really close. I hate to say that, but... That's going to give the pulse lasers a way better chance to hit. Still don't even have eyes on at this point. Alright, let's hope we get some good hits here. Nice. He will most likely be going before our, uh... Oh, he went down. Maybe he won't be going before the, uh... <laughs> okay, Sweeper. Time to be a hero. Going for the CT. Whatever we get, we get. And you missed. You could have been the hero, Irby. Ah, uh, but not today. Come on, move in so I can see you. You're running away. Probably a good thing. As long as he can't see us. I see you. You can't run away, buddy. We got more work to do here. So he's got not much left on this side. Uh, what can we f uh, It's the better chances to hit. Let's just do it. Nice. Okay, he's unstable. Let's see if we can put him put his ass on the ground. A couple of AC2 should probably do it, I think. We'll find out. This flea's like, I'm getting out of here. You're next, buddy. I don't know where you're going. Actually, that guy's probably going to be last. Alright, shrooms. Let's not get where that guy can see us, eh? Moving to position. Come on, finish him up. There we go. Okay, he didn't even get a chance to fire, which is really good. Good news for us. 
Um, gonna play the hiding game for a second. Get some heat back. You're still fresh. Let's take a pot shot at this guy. Or we can blow up half the buildings here. That's good too. Get you next time. No, you probably won't. Somebody's backing up. Who's got eyes on that flea? I guess I do. Um, Good to go. let's push this vehicle. Let's Smalls come off and fire everything. It's a vedette. Got it. I'll take the half hits. Wow. This guy in the heat, man. Okay. That's good news. Oh, that's even better news. I think we can fit the double heat sink kit on this guy. Where is that flea going? He's just decided he's had enough. Standing by. He's going to our drop point is what he's doing. It's like, I'm leaving with you guys. Alright, dumping some stuff on this guy. We'll go. Failed to connect. You sure did. That's alright though. I don't know, can you go hunt that flea? Where is he? He was back there somewhere. Flea hunting. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are. Ah, we can't target him. He's hidden. I don't know, I think we're outmatched. Flea against Irby. He's coming back though. And he's turning his back. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, we can fire them both. That's a bulldog, great. Receiving you. Hopefully it's reduced armored bulldog. Got it. Let's get down in there. Get some heat back. Yes, Commander. Getting ready for a firing line on this guy when he comes back up. Hopefully he comes back up. Here he comes. Gave him a nice juicy target here. So if all goes well in these next few turns, we should have some good choice salvage out of this. Man, I can't even shoot that flea. We need a bigger engine. Well, at least she's doing some good heat management. Um... Okay, let's hope. What is this flea doing? He's like terrified. I feel so sorry for you, buddy. Order. Not really. Still can't see this guy. Um, fire everything but the smalls. Wow, two hits, eh? Alright, alright, 
Herbie's proving itself useful over there. No idea what this guy's got. What can I do for you? Um. Just gonna stay out of the trees because uh, we got a better chance to hit this guy. Not much better, but I'm sure he's dropping a load of his pants. He sees the AC-20 round fly by his head. Aye, aye. I think my AC-20 was jammed. ADD much? Okay, let's get in here. We got some heat now. Firing. God. Yeah, I got you got to get in there. We got to squash this guy. We got to play stompy stompy robots on him. Um Find the alarms. Sound like something got broke. That's the flea moving somewhere. There he is. I don't even know. <laughs> Standing by. He's like totally panicked. Moving He's out. losing his mind over there. Alright, fire and everything. Okay, we penned. I have no idea where we penned. But we oh, it's gone. Enemy vehicle destroyed. So they should have it so that there's a brief, you could set it so that you could see the actual death of the enemy. I know you don't really need to see it, but I kind of like watching them blow up. Um, yeah, leave a medium off. You knew we had to come for you at some point, buddy. You knew it was coming. Don't know how you're gonna die yet. Oh, okay, AC-20's unjammed. He gave us that turn, that was great. Here comes the Lerms. Standing by. Best chance to hit is not moving. Gonna fire. Locking on target. Okay. Yeah, no direct line of sight. We'll come back over here. That's all right. Let's just plug this guy. All right. I hear ya. Moving out. Oh, uh, we get to see your face. Seventy-two percent chance. He's already been hit in the head. Here it comes, folks. Did he survive that? And there's more where that came from. He survived that. Good job, buddy. Weather in the storm. You got nothing, you hear me? Lost an arm and part of a torso, but he took it. Took it like a champ. He doesn't want to give the kill to uh the Irby. He's like, I don't want to die to an Irby, are you kidding me? My friends will never let me live it down. Okay, two injuries. See if we can push him over. Come on, fall. Oh, he bailed. Okay, cool. There it is, folks. I can't feel my legs. Mission what do you mean your legs? You lost both your arms. All right, guys. Payment increased by ten percent, hundred and forty thousand. I'm predicting about fifty thousand in repairs. Mm, well, maybe not. We didn't take that much damage, so maybe not. I don't think we lost anything. Let's just double check here to make sure. I know we were missing a heatsink already on this guy. 
Twilight's out for 22 days, though, so that kind of sucks. Not very many mech parts here. Let's look for gear. Pirate LRM-10, minus one accuracy, 75% overheat damage. One evasion pips ignored. Can vary between plus or minus two. 12 heat. Possibility. Pirate heavy machine, or machine gun pirates. You know what? I wonder if we'd load these up on the Irby. If we put three of these on the Irby. Small lasers. Eh. Okay, there's some SRMs. Thunderbolts. Plus one accuracy with these guys. Vehicle flamers. Also good. Engine. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Upper missiles. So, we don't need any of that stuff. Let's do that. Let's take a core. We can make the herb a little... Oh, these... I don't know. We're going to have enough for the financial report, so let's take gear that we can use and use to upgrade stuff with. So let's take two of those. We got machine gun ammo already. Yeah, let's go that route. And see what else we get here. Okay, we've got three mech parts. Um, Devil's AC-20. God, this thing, really? Really? Another light machine gun, regular machine gun. SRM-4, okay, that's good. Pirate Flamer. Nice. Generates plus five heat for two turns. Two evasion pips ignored. Burning... Burning increases target's heat generation for minus 25%. Wow. Double, triple bonus damage versus overheating targets. Okay, so that's really cool. Could definitely use that. And AC-20 ammo. Okay. So, actually, we made out pretty good on that one. Alright. A few more uh, worlds changing hands here. 12,000 in repairs. So that's nothing in 12, in 12 days. So that's really good for us. Really, really good for us. All right, so we've got enough for our financial statement. It's 11 days away. What we're gonna do, let's manage our tasks a bit here. The Urban Mech will be back. Uh, Vindicator Health Spawn. So it's gonna be quite a while before everybody's back. I want the Irby back first, I think, because I think I want to modify him slightly with those machine guns, maybe. I don't know. Um, all right, let's, yeah. You know what, I'm gonna end the episode here because it's been really, really long. Next episode, we'll probably jump planets to that planet that's nine days away. Um, just so we can see what's there, we'll have two days to the financial report. Um, we still have another pilot out of action until the middle of next month. So we'll have to deal with that. Uh, but I think overall we're on the road to recovery. 350000 we should be easily able to be able to make that um, every month. So yeah, I think we're in a good position. All right, guys, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop some comments in the comment section down below if you can think about different ways we can load our mechs out. Um, definitely going to need to go with more volume of weapons, I think, more so than heavy hitters. That uh, PPC in the Vindicator and the AC-20 in the um, Urban Mech, I think, are holding us back a little bit um, at this point in the, in the actual game. And we do need to get that second mech bay up and running. It's like 700,000 C bills, so we're going to need to start generating some good cash for that. All right, guys, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.